Okay, Celtics run the winning streak to 16 games, winning 110 to 102 in overtime. Comeback win for the Celtics. They were down big time. Came back in the last like three, four minutes of regulation, just totally locked down defensively. Finally turned it on. Uh, flicked the switch, as they say. So one thing about the switch is um, Steve Kerr, Warriors coach, was asked, is it troubling to you that your team has to flick the switch, turn the switch on, and start playing really hard in the later half of games down the stretch to pull out victories? And Steve Kerr said something really interesting. He said, you know, the switch is fine. The switch works. You know, we're winning with the switch. So I thought that was really interesting and really intelligent rather than expecting players to absolutely go 100% like crazy all the time. Understand that they're only human. Understand that it's a long year. Understand that, uh, you know, human nature, it's hard to get up emotionally for 48 minutes a game. So having that switch, being able to turn it on, kind of accept it, you know? And as a coach, that goes a long way with players probably because it shows you understand them. And if the switch is working, the switch is working. So the switch definitely working for the Celtics. And uh, this one was definitely too close for comfort though, guys. Um, Al Horford was very passive, only took five shots. He was getting the ball under the basket and immediately looking to pass away rather than go up with a shot. So that was a little disconcerting. But that was the least of the problems. So Kyrie Irving and Jalen Brown came out scorching hot, putting up like a lot of points early. Kyrie finished the half with like 25 points. But, you know, Marcus Morris, 3 for 11. And uh, Jason Tatum had a very quiet first half again. And uh, Marcus Smart, 3 for 15, 2 for 11 from 3. It was just really ugly. So our bench is becoming offensively a real problem. And I, you know, at some point you got to place some of the blame on the coach. So why is Marcus Smart, a guy who's been ice cold all year, why is he the second leading shot taker on the team? Right? Does that make any sense? Uh, so anyway, down the stretch, they just let Kyrie go to work. And uh, I think what they need to do, considering that Marcus Smart and Terry Rozier are shooting our offense out of some early leads sometimes, and just, uh, you know, pretty ugly. They need to find a way to make sure that it's not Marcus Smart chucking all these shots or Terry Rozier chucking all these threes. Whether that means putting Kyrie Irving on the bench early and bringing him in with a second unit so he can just play iso ball and, you know, against reserves, you know, something's got to happen here. Because just putting Marcus Morris or Jason Tatum in with his crappy offensive bench unit. Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. Tonight it definitely did not work, offensively at least. Uh, but overall, amazingly, Marcus Smart again ends up plus 15, right? Despite just shooting total crap. But he had a huge clutch three late in the fourth quarter. Huge. I think it brought us in within two points or something like that when we were down five with like a minute left. So once again, Marcus Smart classic Marcus Smart game make you shake your head and make you scream no make you pull your hair out and then we end up getting the win but this is too close for comfort guys and uh, I don't like it so something's got to give and you know I think our offense if Kyrie did go to the bench early you know we got lots of we got lots of offensive firepower here put in a point guard like Smart or Rozier who can just not shoot the ball just play defense pass the ball around and, uh, you know, get isolation plays, more isolation plays for Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. And then more isolation plays as well, especially with the bench unit. The starting unit, they can rely more on that motion, passing it around. But this bench, what, is, what does a motion offense do? It just means you're going to get more shots for Marcus Smart and Terry Rozier than you would ever want, right? So more isos, more clear outs, more pick and rolls, just focusing, emphasizing, stressing that whoever, whichever starter is on the floor with these guys, that they should be shooting the ball, and that is the top priority. And if you have to pull a guy out because he's chucking too many threes, so be it. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts. Too close for comfort, but we just won 16 in a row, so can't complain too much. 
and that uh, best defense in the league knew when to turn it on, clamped down, got it done on a legendary game for Kyrie Irving with 47 points. Uh, just legendary. I think he had 10 points in the last three minutes of overtime to put the game away. <laughs> wow. Thank God for that game or we would have lost and it would have been an ugly, embarrassing loss. Let me know what you thought of the game, guys. I'll see you soon. Peace.